Okay, so um, about a week or two ago, I did a, a video on upgrading the Light Radio 2 SE. Um, in this case, this is the original Light Radio 2 to the Express LRS edition with the upgrade board. And at first, I just left the original patch antenna inside here. So this is what the patch antenna looks like. It's just basically a sticker that's on the inside. Um, it is on the inside of the casing right here. And this is the um, Express, LRS, Express LRS Edition uh, Light Radio 2 um, unmodded. This is stock from the company. And this one here is the one that I upgraded. But I've replaced the antenna in there. As you can see, I pulled the patch antenna out and I put this dipole in here. This is actually from one of the receivers. You can buy these in a pack of two, I think, for like six or seven dollars. This is the same uh, micro FL connector that the original uses, and the antenna is in the same location in the case. It's about right here, like this inside. And someone was wondering, well, um, is the range going to be any different if you're using if you're not using the patch antenna? Someone suggested you could um, drill a hole here, and then you can use a, a micro FL to SMA connector adapter and then you can then at that point use an external antenna. Of course there's a wide variety of external antennas that you can use. Um, yeah, I didn't I haven't gone to that extensive test, testing. I wanted to sort of keep things more or less, you know, um, convenient so that you know the point of this radio is not to have a bunch of stuff hanging out and all that just to keep it simple so switched it from a patch to a dipole here and wanted to see what the difference in performance is so I did two flights I'm going to show you both flights I'm not going to tell you which one's which I'm going to let you guys decide which one you think is the dipole antenna and which one you think is the patch antenna so they're going to be labeled A and B on the two flights. I'm more or less flying the same pattern, about the same distance. Um, both radios are, um, I think they're configured for 50 milliwatts exactly from both. So that's what, you know, I wanted, I wanted to lower the power so I don't have to go super, super far because on 100 milliwatts, it's, um, you can go really, really far, like kilometers away. So I lowered the power a little bit so I could see the, the drop in the signal and I am um, using the patch antenna properly I am facing the quad or facing the, the patch antenna at the quad if you use the patch antenna and you, you point at the ground like some people use their radios and point at the ground like this then the patch antenna is going to be less effective because the signal is not going to be coming from the ground of course but in that case the dipole will be more effective because the dipole whether or not you're pointing at the ground is still going to be able to receive signal and I did not, obviously, I did not test that because it's really going to, I mean, it's kind of a given. If you don't point the patch antenna at the quad, your signal is going to degrade and it's just going to be worse. So I wanted to see in a comparison, you know, if they're both, if the patch antenna is properly being used and the dipole is properly being used and pointing it at the quad, what's the difference in the signal? And that's what you're going to see here. Two flights, A and B. Let me know down in the comments. Which one you think is which? I will uh, let the run, let this video run for like a week or so, and then I'll come back and answer in the video description as to which flight is which. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious to see what their response is going to be in terms of what you guys think of the differences between the two antennas. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.